Good evening. Thank you for joining us here on this Friday edition of the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa, and we're staying on top of the search for the missing five year old Michael Vaughn from Fruitland. Police say nothing has been ruled out, and the likelihood this case is possible abduction increases each day. Our Tristan Lewis joins us now with more about what partner partnering agencies are providing to the case. Tristan. Shira, numerous agencies locally and out of the state are working with Fruitland PD to find Michael. From Idaho State Police to the FBI, each making it clear their mission is to recover Michael and bring him home. After months of searches and sharing his face and name, the question still remains. Where is five year old Michael Vaughn? It's been surprising to me that this case has not gotten more national attention. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has been following Michael's case since he went missing on July 27th. In 2020, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children was able to resolve more than 27,000 missing children cases. More than 1,100 of those were abductions. And due to the fact that we've conducted multiple searches using every tool available to us with no success, it increases the possibility that Michael was abducted. Even with the heightened possibility Michael has been abducted and still missing four months later, the center says communities cannot give up hope. We always want to remind people that it is important to stay vigilant in these types of cases because more time goes on, you know, the less and less attention a case like this gets. A big part of what the center does is make sure missing children's stories are not forgotten. They go on national media programs, share images and details on social media, and more to reach new people. Because at this point, police, that's what they're relying on, is help from the public. They believe law enforcement in the case are doing a good job of encouraging people to reach out and send information if they've seen or heard anything in regard to Michael. But they don't believe that's enough. I would like to see this case get more national attention, because if this child was indeed abducted, who knows where this child is now? The child may be nowhere near Fruitland. It's important to make sure that everybody's looking for Mike, no matter where they live. And I reached out to Fruitland police and they tell me they are still working to identify that white Honda pilot and a man with a dark, dark hair wearing a white t-shirt and black shorts that were in the area the time Michael disappeared. They are not considered suspects, but police want to talk with them about what they may have seen or know. And Shira, this again continues to be an ongoing investigation by Fruitland Police. I know the community isn't giving up hope, so thank you for keeping us updated.